XP. And uh, kapag bago na po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So, ngayong hapon na ito, ako po ay magtuturo sa inyo how to convert a degree to decimal, decimal to degree, minutes, and seconds. Kapag gumagamit tayo ng calculator, guys, very easy because we're going to press it. But like for example, wala po tayong calculator. How are we going to do it manually? So ito po yung uh, subject na ito sa trigonometry and most especially if you're going to take the entrance exam or any exams, ito po ang pinaka-importante. How are we going to convert degree, minutes, and seconds to decimals or vice versa, decimal to degree, minutes, and seconds and we will be doing it manually. So, are you ready, guys? So, if you're ready, I'm ready. So, please keep watching until the end of this video. How to convert degree to decimal and vice versa. So, as what I have uh, mentioned just now, that mamaya, decimal naman to degree, minutes, and seconds. So, now, we will be converting 35 degrees, 15 minutes, and 45 seconds to decimal. So first solution, guys, what are we going to do? This 35 degrees will be your whole number. So that will be equal to 35, okay, point. This 15, what are you going to do is we are going to divide it by 60, okay? So when you're going to divide it, 15, ito po yung nasa loob. This will be your dividend, and 60 will, will be your divisor. We know that 15 divided by 60 cannot be, right? So, you are going to put decimal here and add 0. How many 660 are there in 150? So, there are 2, right? So, 2, so two times 60, that is equal to 120. And then, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? 30 divided by 60 cannot be. So, what are you going to do is you need to add 0 again. Bring down another 0 here. So, 300 divided by 60. How many 60 are there in 300? There are 5. So, that is equal to 5. 5 times 60, that is equal to 300. So, 0 na po ito. So, that will be equal to 0.25. Andyan na muna yon. Okay. Next is 45. Okay, seconds. How many seconds are there in 1 hour? Ngayon, bakit tayo po nag-divide by 60? Because, how many minutes? or minutes in one hour, that is equal to 60. Dito sa seconds, why is it that we are going to divide it? How many seconds in one hour? 60 times 60, that is equal to 3,600. So that will be equal to 45 divided by 3,600. So, 45 divided by 3,600 45 divided by 3,600 cannot be, right? So, you have to add 0 here. 450 divided by 3,600. How many 3,600 in 450? Hindi po ba wala? So, 0 pa rin. 0 times 3,600 that is equal to 0. So, you need to bring down 4, 5, 0, Another add 0. Okay, now 4,500 divided by 3,600. How many 3,600 in 4,500? Equal by 1. So, 1 times 3,600, 3,600. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. 5 minus 6 cannot be. So, you need to borrow 1 from 4. So, that will be equal to 15 minus 6, that is equal to 900. 900 
divided by 3,600. So cannot be, right? So what are you going to do? You have to add another zero. How many 3,600 in 9,000? Okay, so that will be equal to 2. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 6, 12. Carry 1. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1 is 7. So, 0, 0, 0 minus 2 cannot be, so that will be 10 minus 2 is 8. So, 8 minus 7 is 1. So, 1,800. Okay? 1,800 divided by 3,600 cannot be. So, you need to add another 0. Okay? So, 18,000 divided by 3,600. Ilang 3,600 sa 18,000. So, that will be equal to 5. Okay, again, 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry 3. So, 3 times 5, 15 plus 3 is 18. So, 0 na yon. So, therefore, ang sagot dito is 0 0.0125. Ano po ang ating gagawin dito sa 0.25 and 0.0125? You need to add the two decimals. Okay? So, i-add na natin 0.25 and then 0.0125. Okay, guys. When you are adding decimals, see to it that you need to align each other. Align-align po natin siya. Okay? And then, bring down 5, bring down 2, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then 2, so that will be 0.2625. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito, ito po yung kasunod dito sa 35. So therefore, when you are going to convert it 35 degrees, 15 minutes, and 45 seconds to decimal, that is equal to... 35.2625. So that is what we call conversion of degree, minutes, and seconds to decimal. Did you get it, guys? Okay, so how to convert degrees, minutes, and seconds? So let us go now to vice versa. Babalik pa rin naman natin. So convert 15.215 to degrees, okay, yeah. minutes, and seconds. So, this 15.215, 15 so this 15 will be your degrees. So, 15 degrees. Next is 0.215. Just now, nag-divide po tayo by 16. Ngayon naman po, mag-multiply tayo by 16. So, times 60 so that will be equal to 0 times 5, 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 6 times 5 is 30, carry 3. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 3 is 9. 6 times 2 is 12. So bring down 0, 0, 9, 2, 1. So 1, 2, 3. Ilang decimal places of 3? Big sabihin 1, 2, and 3. So, this will be your 12.900. So, this 12 will be your minutes. And 0.900, ito na naman po ang i-multiply natin by 60. So, let us do the shortcut. How many zeros are there? So, 1, 2, 3. So, ilalagay natin ang tatlo zero. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, cancel. So, 54. So, therefore, this is equal to 54 seconds. So, when you are converting decimal to degrees, minutes, and seconds, guys, without the use of calculator, this is now the process. But if you are using calculator, you, need, you have to press only 15.215 and there is a symbol there. But... I am sharing this to you because when you are taking the examination, entrance examination, ito po yun, you don't need to use the calculator. 
So thank you guys. I hope that you learned something today. Have a great day, everyone.